Let's go film the intro then. Oh, that was a bad idea. That was. Oh. Okay. Morning, y'all. I, I just woke up on my roof. It's time to go to Iceland together. And with together, obviously, I mean me and you. All my other friends had other plans, so taking you. Hope you're excited. I'm excited. Get excited. Okay, we're going to Iceland. We're going to Iceland today. I gotta catch my train. So let's go pack my bag. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. Okay. <laughs> um, so all the airline allowed me to bring without charging me like 50 bucks or something, which is a whole, which is just unreasonable. Never thought that. Was this bag, so we gotta fit everything in here. So I put it in like tiny plastic containers. We're just, it's tiny, it's like three liter Ziploc bags, right? And I like that way of packing my shit into my fucking too little, too small backpack that my fucking airline won't allow me to bring a bigger one, so yeah. I mean, the flight was very cheap, so I guess. <sighs> oh, in the fucking back. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine, it's gonna be fine. Uh, last one. Okay. I mean, that's not a, a large backpack and I'm going there for nine days. That's actually the whole reason I'm bringing a backpack. I could like survive without clothes or shit, but I do need my laptop. So that goes into the bag. Don't fall out. It's a good system, I swear. I swear it's a good system, okay? So here we fucking just gotta just a bit, just a, just a gentle bit of force, you know, to like get it in there. And then we're going. Yeah, we're going. I could also bring a microphone, but this one doesn't work. And neither does uh, this one. Then we are, I think we are ready. Oh no, that fell out. I need to get that back in, okay. Then we're ready, I think. A book, I could bring a book. What kind of... Wait, come on, come on with me. Come on with me, go choose a book. What, what book do I want to bring? Did I read that one? Yeah, no, I did, I did. It's a good book. It's, it's a good book. I don't I didn't remember reading it, but it's a good book, I swear. Yeah, I read them all. I, I'm, I'm not gonna bring a book I already read, right? Could bring... Oh, I could bring uh, this Capital or... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god, I should probably cut that as well. Uh, oh, that's a great one. The, the, it's it's uh, the second part of the Bible. Show you what, what... I'm just not gonna show you what book I'm bringing. I don't really care either. Just gonna bring some random book, right? What? Oh no, there are some. Maybe. Oh, I think that one is. Uh, I think that's something I. I lent out like five years ago. Whatever. Actually, why not bring that? I should probably read that. In. Oh, it doesn't fit anyway. It's okay. Never fucking mind. There you go. Oh, and that pullover. I wanted to bring that pullover as well, because, you know, you. You know, it's cold in Iceland, or so they, they tell me. That's fine, that's fine, it's gonna be fucking fine, it's gonna be great, it's fine. I'm not, doubt, I'm not doubting myself at all, it's, it's gonna be great, it's gonna be so fun, okay. Um, <laughs> where the hell is my fucking everything? Okay. Yeah, they fit, they fit right in. Look at, look at how... Look at how good that that all fits into that little tiny backpack I brought. It's, it's amazing. It's, it fits so well. It doesn't seem like it's too much for that back handle at all. Yeah, it's it's great. It's great. It's great. I want to to have a better angle for that. I'm gonna put you above me. Yeah, I'm sure that's a fun angle. Please don't fall. It's gonna fall, right? Ah, it's not gonna fall. Okay. If, if it's gonna fall, it's gonna look look good on camera, right? Sure it will. Eh, this is the messiest thing ever. Did I say that trip was going to be chaotic? It's gonna be chaotic. Going by myself, I don't have anyone to like calm me down and control me. <coughs> I'm, I cannot even bring my ADHD medication because it's uh, like, it's a drug. And you need like that, that form I didn't get to bring it so um, not gonna be a medication for the next week. What about this? What do you what do you think? 
should I bring this book? I'm not quite sure. It might it might also not fit in the bag, you know? Anything else? Nah, I don't need anything else, right? It's it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be it's gonna be so fine. It's gonna be so so fine. Did I bring the cable? I forgot the fucking cable. I went to the room to get the cable and I forgot the fucking cable. That that can go in my neat <laughs> that can fit neatly in my pants, I think. Because that's how you optimize space, right? Speaking of optimizing space, where's that tiny book I got? So I got a really small one. A wee one. A wee, wee one. I, but I don't know where it is. Back here, yes. Because you see that, that wee tiny book that also fits in my pants. <laughs> Isn't that great? Mm. Now I think I'm fucking done, right? Should I bring a shot glass to Iceland? I don't think so. They have shot glasses in Iceland. I'm not. I'm not an alcoholic. I swear. Uh, okay, these go around my neck. Like, yeah, I'm not gonna say that. Uh, oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's gonna be fine. All right, and I arrived at this uh, beautiful train station, as you can see. It's very, very clean, very nice, and I'm waiting for the train. I want to ride a bit on the train, you know, to fill the time and also to be productive, I guess, while riding the train. But I don't know how much I'm going to ride while riding the train as well, because I'm still tired, because I only slept two hours or something. But I have a few stories I want to finish on this trip, actually. It's like the right... Um, how's it called? A writer's hideout? No. A writer's... So there are a lot of writers actually go on, on a train or a plane to just write. It's a room you're stuck in and you paid for it to go there, so you are motivated to write. start training where's my train oh, it's a nice summer rain smell you know what I mean like the the minerals coming through out of the rain I don't know just got that smell it's, it's so good it's such a good smell it's like one of my favorite smells I think I think it's a common favorite smell as well summer rain it's just it's just amazing especially if you're in a forest or something and then the the near rain mixes with the forest scent to create that Oh, is that my train? I like how I'm switching between like American English, British English and my German English thing. I guess you can really tell uh, that I watch a lot of like British content and also American content. And there's my train, so I'm gonna get on it. Okay, so I did just get off my train in, in Duisburg and now I have to transfer to platform 9 in like two minutes or something. I figured it doesn't make, a very good, doesn't make for very good content just traveling because I don't know what to do. It's mostly passively being productive while being on a train. I guess I can cut whatever I don't want to show and I can maybe come up with a funny bit every once in a while. That's my train right there. I'm not zoom into the set, whatever. So this, I think, is for um, a wheelchair, which I find interesting. But also, um, in Germany, we have those smoking spots in the train station, which is marked by that line, where you can smoke, and you're not allowed to smoke anywhere, anywhere else on the train station, but no one really cares. So I think it's just... I mean, if you're, uh, if you're a nice person, you go into the smoking area, if if you just want to smoke quick ciggy before boarding the train, you just light it and... I have never seen anyone getting like in trouble for smoking on the train station and outside of a dedicated smoking spot, but who knows? Maybe, maybe you can get arrested for that, I'm not sure. I only smoke there. Yep. 
and I really like trains. I do. I do really like trains. Yes. Um, I I don't travel on trains enough. Okay. Goodbye. I just remembered the one one thing I forgot at home. I wanted to bring my my um, my hard drive to edit on the train, and then I forgot my hard drive at home. So I can't do any editing now. Although I could. Um, I could start editing this video, I guess, if I want to, and pull the footage from my smartphone and my other smartphone where I'm recording this sound here. <laughs> but I don't know, I wanted to get the other video done first, but now I might as well edit the other, this one, so why not? So I've just arrived in Bremen, and I was lost, so I have to record that in voiceover. Look at all those Mercedes. If you just put every person in the Mercedes uh, that is on the train right now, you could like spare a train, right? That would be so efficient, so smart and so German, just riding Mercedes instead of the train. Great. Okay, so I've successfully arrived in uh, Bremen. I've never been here, so I might as well check out the city and see what I can do. Maybe eat something, drink something. I haven't really gotten something to eat except for that one burrito, which is really good. I think I will just miss one train, basically, to like spend one hour here, and then I'm gonna uh, go on to, to Hamburg. Look at that, after crossing like five streets, I found the walkable part of the city, isn't that nice? I found some statues oink, oink, oink. of pickles, of pigs, and this street, which I think, yeah, that seems like the place you want to be. Okay, I got into my train to Hamburg and I'm editing a video. If I keep this up, I'm gonna be ready to, this evening, I can upload it and stuff, but I, I don't think I will, but I might. Yep. Bremen was nice. I drank a beer, but I really want to go to my hotel to just rest for a bit. Okay, so I've arrived in Hamburg. I just met two random, uh, random lads on the on the train. And really, really good chat. I asked whether we would like do a video together, but they weren't up for it. So yeah, but I, I got my number. Maybe we're going to pop later. I mean, they were they were really interesting. <laughs> One of them reminded me of uh, Crank Gameplays, Ethan. Yeah, it was a good a good time in the good time in the, the in the train. Good train train. Good train time. Now I'm going to my hotel. I hope they they will check me in and shit, and then I can go to a pub and have a good time because it's it's Hamburg and it's evening and I want to go drink some fucking beer. <laughs> it's just starting to rain, but I'm almost at my hotel. It's I think it's the one with the hotel sign over there. So that is what 70 box gets you in Hamburg. <laughs> okay, room tour. That's me after four hours of train riding. That is my shower. I got my own personal shower. I don't have a personal toilet, it's on the floor. I got a bed and some cushions and some towels. That's all I need basically. Uh, it's got a wardrobe. Oh, let's look at the view. What the hell is this? Oh, that's a lamp, I think. It's a lamp, yes. And um, that's my view. Isn't that nice? Look at that. I can see a whole... like four square inches of gra grass there. Why am I talking in square inches when I'm talking in... And my chair is, <laughs> is a bit uh, dilapidated. The whole thing is, I think. But it's, it's fine, it's good. I can sleep here, I think. It, I mean, there's a big uh, ominous stain on the bed, and it's, it's the kind of a tub small you would probably like bring a hooker to if, if I were to. Also, I like these cables with the switch. Like, if in case you're so depressed you want to kill yourself, you can just. No, it's, it's, it's. I don't know, I'm not gonna spend much time here. I'm just gonna sleep here, and I'm gonna go out now drinking because that's too depressing to stay here. So I was about to leave the uh, the hotel room. It's, it's raining a bit, so I put my rain jacket on, and then I noticed that 
this is not a sliding door that goes over to cover this. This door is just missing. It's just, it's just a door, just a door. No door. Disco. Yeah, it's, a, it's okay. I say disco, you say party. Disco, disco, party, party. <sighs> Good morning, y'all. I just woke up and put on the sunglasses and put on the camera and like put on the microphone as well. I am very hung hungover, hence the sunglasses. I had a good night last night. <laughs> it was crazy in Hamburg. Um, I met some people. Um, I think I'm gonna do a voiceover storytelling of last night while doing the travel montage thing because my flight is about to board in two hours. Voiceover time! Leaving the hotel in some northern German rain, I was hyped for the night. First day of adventure after all. Got on the subway to the leftist quarter and got into a decent bar there. Sat down, wrote on my stage play, Wanna Be Shakespeare? Out soon? Maybe. Probably not. After some booze, I went on to another pub, met two guys there. One a journalist. Told some stories to that guy about the complete disgrace of internet journalism, like calling the police to confirm that two people were indeed murdered last night and the call with, I quote, Oh, that's great. Thanks, mate. Then reconsidering, did I just celebrate the death of two people? After that, I moved back to the first bar, wanting to retreat my forgotten umbrella, which, spoiler alert, I forgot anyways getting entangled in the night. Sitting at the counter at that bar, ordering my gin and tonic, I was intrigued by the lovely girl ordering three caparinos next to me. For the purpose of this story, let's call her Kathleen. This girl, about my age and my level of enthusiasm at that point of the night, started talking to some random strangers, which told me she was quite sociable, thus encouraging me to start a conversation with her as well. I inquired her reason of Monday night drinking, then asked to join her company for a quick chat. At the table I met her two friends, we'll name them Roger and Tony. These people gave me hell of a good vibe. We bonded over our drinks, exchanging fun stories, hobbies, interests, realizing that we shared some of those. The trio had plans for that Monday night, get hammered on the Reeperbahn, which is the main party square of Hamburg, featuring night and strip clubs and a whole lot of drunkards. With me joining, we evolved into a lovely quartet, roaming the streets with our beer-fueled ecstasy, dynamically chatting, soon arriving at the Wunderbar, a small queer pub, ordered beer, smoked some, danced, kind of normal stuff. Suddenly, Tony wiped out a bag of Haribo Goldbeeren. I'm not gonna lie, I was intrigued. Being naturally curious, perhaps to an unhealthy level, I've always been fascinated by Süßigkeiten. Love listening to the stories from friends and imagine the effect they described. Feeling as comfortable as ever, I genuinely considered trying, despite my exhaustive knowledge on Diabetes related to Haribo Goldbeeren. After going to the toilet, I felt quite relieved, energetic, though not in an overwhelming way. Meanwhile, Tony and Roger were exploding on the dance floor, showing off moves, getting attention from the gay, barstool-occupying man of middle age. One of them, calling him Peter, flirted with a bitly handsome Roger. That older guy Peter seemed quite determined about making out with him, though never in a manner I would consider inappropriate, as Roger seemed amused, provoking him to try harder playing the hard-to-get-but-not-impossible facade. We all decided to move on, being considerably intoxicated after those bars, beverages, on our invitation, mentioned bloke Peter followed us to the next two places as well. Next pub was just closing as we got there, being 2am on a Monday still. The bartender handed out one last round of Ulster beer. Tony went for a piss call with Kathleen and Roger, Peter seeming somewhat disappointed about not being invited to the latrines with Roger. Soon, time for another pub had arrived. Peter, local to the neighborhood, led us to some 24-7 rundown place with a clerk who had never cared a bit about anything and wasn't caring at all at that point, except selling some liquor. Stayed there for some beer, though I really noticed my heavy eyelids. Being the sweetheart she is, and perhaps slightly exhausted as well, Kathleen volunteered to guard me home once I opted to do so. She also gently forced Tony and Roger to follow. Thus we set off once again, me fading into some dreams already, playing my trip to the boss to my hotel. However, we intercepted a lively karaoke bar and concluded that ending a great night must involve bad singing. Only stayed there for a couple of songs though, didn't even get to do Smash Mouth's All Star, which I had requested from the DJ. Being together on the bus then, headed for their place and my hotel, we smoothly approached our goodbyes, appreciating our company with one last hug before I entered the dark city streets leading to my hotel. 
In a nutshell, it was epic. The coincidental friendship preparing me for my solo trip to Iceland, manifesting the belief that good people are found everywhere, being approachable for a lonely traveler such as myself, that experience honestly helped me a great deal in Iceland. Where I hey, don't interrupt me. Okay, just go into Iceland. Like, where else would I exit to? Germany? I don't think so. Right. We, we made it to Iceland, guys. Guys, wait. We're in Iceland. <laughs> no, we're going to flip it. Okay, so I'm, I would give you room to, but I'm way too fucking tired. Because I, oh my god, that flight was exhausting. It was kind of fun, but it was exhausting. So I'm gonna go right to sleep, and I'm gonna give you everything tomorrow. And good night. Yo, Lou, Lou, wake up! It's morning. Oh wait, I, I, I forgot. I already, I already woke up. I put on the camera and got a shower. <laughs> and I, uh, I recall the sequence of me coming in because I didn't do that yesterday because I was too tired. Okay, so it's room tour time. That is the door. That is the bathroom. We have like um, a shower. That's good in the bathroom to have. We have a sink. I don't, I don't know. You know how fucking hotel rooms look like. I do like that I have a fridge and a kitchen so I can cook some stuff myself because I really want to do that and I'm going to record it as well. The bed is nice as well. I had a good sleep. And the view. I mean, this is like industrial stuff, but. I mean, the mountains over there look quite, quite amazing. Unless you're looking through a window, through a camera on YouTube on like 48p resolution, in which case it probably won't look that good. Now I got a like uh, e-scooter app so I can get, get around and get to the center of uh, Reykjavik today and go to some museums maybe and do some shit. And I'm gonna take you along and maybe record if there's anything interesting. I also want to ride still. But um, I don't know, maybe I can find a nice cafe and right there. I don't think I have anything else to say. So let's go to Reykjavik. So I found quite a cool museum about punk apparently, Icelandic punk. I think I'm gonna go in inside and see what it's about. I mean, it's about Icelandic punk, but I mean. Look at these, uh, look at the entrance, that, lo that seems promising, right? Hello there. <laughs> now, here's my introduction. Our museum here is based on the timeline. We're talking about the first 15 years of Icelandic punk. So it's about how it came to Iceland and who's really to pay for it. Okay. Headphones, you can listen to one, two song of every album you see on the ceiling. Every album is a different artist from Iceland connected to the story. You can put on any jacket and vest you see around, dance in it, scream in it, take yourself in it, do whatever you want in it, don't run away with it. I was starting in 19, 1930, okay. <laughs> I like this part. Because of idiot Hitler's small penis, the British occupied uh, Iceland in 1940. <laughs> Later the Yanks came. A beer was banned in Iceland. Oh, tough times, man, tough times. So these photographs were destroyed because someone put on a, a hot water tap because he was he was enraged and didn't like like pictures or something. Big balls of the great white idiot. A bad punk rat from Hamburg, that's where I was yesterday. The visuals here are good. It's a toilet booth, but I think it's occupied. There's a, th a snake in there, I think. So that is um, <laughs> Booby and the Outsiders <laughs> with the Clash on a concert. Okay, guys, that's kind of it for this video. Um, I'm gonna upload the next one very, very soon, I think. Probably not. And I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, a subscription, no, and enjoy sometimes. the last like couple of minutes of footage of me going to the Punk Museum. Interested or just click away, whatever you want to. And okay, good goodbye. Two pictures inside the toilet.